Hi guys, this is the show from Scarlet Moon Creations and I've got a little something different for you. I believe I've done one of these before. I'll put a link in the description and in the card above if I remember. But, uh, I want to make a jump turtle. And particularly, this one will be a uh, tarot oracle journal themed after my heart of fairy oracle now i sort of got the idea from boho tarot uh don michelle uh a while ago to, to create a junk journal for your tarot study or your oracle deck study and i have seen before and kind of gotten the idea um, as well from Namqua. It's been a while since I've said their channel name and their channel is not very active but they recently posted a video for a journal they created to do the 78 pieces of tarot study for the herb crafters tarot and I like making junk journals, but I often get stimmy by what to use them for. I've had this deck for a while, and the box is falling apart. I do want to use this. I'm probably going to use these, at least this part, for the cover and the rest of this and this packaging. He's very flimsy um, in the book itself, but um, yeah, this month I'm studying this deck, and the, this is what the deck looks like. There are fairies, and I it's kind of this this old world look, obviously, the blue and the dark brown. Um, and then like these muted reds and grays and tans. So my pages I want to be pretty basic and I'm just going to show you what materials I'll use. I want a file folder cover so I've got these old Pile here. Oh, this has something in it. <laughs> um, I've got tons of them, and that has stuff in it. But I've got empty ones. I've got uh, and these are just Manila. I've also got uh, blank unused ones, but I'll probably use a used one. Um, for this is the best I could find as far as the dark brown these uh it doesn't match but it's close enough uh these paper bags that i have on hand for other things i also have these now this is kind of paper bag materials but not quite this is from packing material now i cut and folded a bunch of these for another junk journal and then didn't use that many uh, I think at the time the pens I had didn't really write on this, so I'm not 100% sure, but I might use these two, if nothing else, as uh, ephemera. Then I've got this old book, which I actually wanted to read, but it's got these cool illustrations, which I think would go well. There's a fairy tale vibe here. Um, so I might pull out some book pages from here. Just to somewhere really simple as you can see. And then there's this cover which I think would go well. Oh, back to the paper. Uh, I've got this old world stack and I've used some of it but not all of it so I'm probably gonna take 
this red out um, and maybe this blue because you can see in the back like the blue would really go um, and oh I, I'm talking about the red because in the book you did burgundy and so is the font so I thought that would be cool I also this the book comes with a whole notes section there's about 10 pages and it's all I don't know if I can show you it's all in this one signature so I'm gonna probably take that out and add that in but yes hence the red and this is the heart of fairies so nothing too bright red like muted reds I've got it's hard to show because I have like uncut Ooh, parchment paper it's huge let me like yeah cover my entire table so cut up some of that and probably tea dye it because I want it to be uh, darker and now this I think is from Ophidia Rose I'll put it on the screen I have bought and printed out this set for another junk journal some of this is regular printer paper some of it is cardstock and yeah I didn't use a lot of the ephemera so I might I feel like this would go um, these are not tea dyed pages but uh, what I can do is cut them out and paste them on top of uh, some other papers so yeah I was looking for other things and I found this and I was like oh yeah I still have those but definitely these pages of ephemera if nothing else and this just random cardstock paper recollections that I've never used oddly enough even though red is my favorite color uh, a nice uh, accent like the back here and then I've got this dot grid paper pad um, where I have I still have a bunch of pages left and they're roughly the size I want the book to be when folded so to match this I'm going to tea dye these uh, I've got this like chocolate tea dye um, this chocolate tea that I cannot drink it's way too caffeinated um, like it's got cacao in it but it's also got uh, I think it's poor the way it's pronounced uh, tea leaves and that is so strong like I feel absolutely will be I don't really drink caffeinated drinks soda coffee no um, and tea is and then I don't really drink a lot of black tea so that poor uh, cacao and it smells amazing, so my book will smell amazing, but I can't drink that. Um, so, the other thing is, and I've got, uh, what is it? Berry, uh, elderberries and chokeberries, which when I was making jams and syrups and things, they kind of have this reddish, uh, dark reddish look to them. So I'll try those with dyeing my pages and we'll see how they look. But uh, so yeah, and like I said, I want to use these somewhere in the book and this piece definitely on the cover. Um, I'm making it a file folder journal because uh, I don't have any traveler's notebook covers. Uh, made that's that's a project I'm working on it guys I'm working on it but and I, I can't really afford to constantly be to constantly be buying them so 
Yeah. Uh, Art in the City. She does file folder journals that I like. Uh, so I'll do that. I don't want a hardcover uh, or a altered book cover because I plan on writing and pasting and all of that. And I feel like the file folder would make it easier to lie flat and write in. Oh yeah, so links to everyone I mentioned in the description. I will come back to show you the pages cut and dyed and making signatures. So, Card of Fairies Oracle Journal, here we go. Okay, so I'm back. Um, with all of the scraps, uh, the cover is dried. I added that. I'm thinking about putting a button here. I have never done that before. Uh, so we shall see. I'll have to watch a few tutorials. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if I want to put something here, here, and here. So while we're in a hyperlapse, I'll explain some stuff that I somehow didn't wind up filming. I dyed the pages I showed you, but I also added in some specialty papers I have from um, Paper Source, the handmade papers that I was talking about a little bit ago. And I wound up with basically too much. Uh, you'll see this is already very stuffed, but um, this is my first like very large junk journal. so. It happened. Obviously, all the papers weren't the same size even when I dyed them, so I cut them down to the size I wanted. This is slightly smaller than an A5 um, book or paper size. I don't remember the exact measurements. I'll put them in the description below. But uh, yeah, I cut the papers down to a book and then I put them in the order that I liked. I tried to think about like what content I would be putting in this junk journal because I will be writing in it a lot so putting them in order was important to me. And because it was so thick, I wound up having to uh, sew it together and I hand sewed it the um, simple binding stitch um, using three holes and that's how we came to what you saw. Um, so at this point, I'm now like adding embellishments to it. The other thing I did was work on the cover. Uh, I dyed that file folder and then glued on the pieces of the box that held the deck and the book, uh, the guidebook, onto it. I also decided last minute to add a ribbon closure, so I, it's not really a ribbon, it's a piece of lace, like a uh, valance from a window. And I cut that down and glued that in behind uh, one of the back cover and from the box. And the, it's like between the file folder and the box cover. And you just have the flower bit there. Uh, now, back to the inside, adding the ephemera. I'm adding tuck spots and uh, pockets to it with various bits and pieces, some belly bands, uh, vertical and horizontal you just saw me make. Now it's time to sew on the cover, so again doing the saddle stitch, I had some difficulty because 
I already had done this for the uh, pages, but the thread I'm using is wax covered, so it's a little thicker as well. Um, so I really gotta force those holes in between, but I got it eventually. Uh, it might be a bit too tight, though. <laughs> This is where I get the genius idea because I didn't like the way the edge looked there. But so I got the idea to glue on some washi tape uh, because it wasn't sticky enough with just the adhesive that comes on the washi tape. It didn't work out very well. I mean, it looked nice. The washi tape matches, but it doesn't stay. Okay, so now more decorating. I'm using some ephemera that I got in a swap uh, in a Facebook group for another insert uh, junk journal. And going through a bin of just random bits of papers and things I got uh, and looking for stuff that matches, like this uh, fairy festival card that I have and I had also bought these rub-on transfers that looked kind of nice from the 99 cent store so I'll be adding those and then just random bits and pieces you know there's always like a little bit of extra paper that you cut off in the making of a junk journal so I put those strips on and I also, from the dollar store, had gotten die cuts. These are a mix of insects or bugs. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but uh, butterflies and moths and dragonflies. Um, they all have wings. There's some beetles and things too, but um, the fairies in this deck have... Some of them have wings, but a lot of their wings look more insect-like, so I was like, why not? We'll try a few, and I tried more than a few. I've also got this, uh, from a, the Dollar Tree, this, like, farm sticker set you see on the side. It's, like, blues and light browns, and they've got chickens, <laughs> and... I don't remember why, but that seemed to fit, so I'll use that as well. And I'm decorating the pockets, some corners of the pages, um, also using washi tape that I have that's all trees and leaves, because I realize, you know, these fairies are very earthy, so to add some greenish elements. The other washi tape I'm using is actually uh, from a BTS set, BTS being the K-pop group. Uh, this set is for On, their last, like, two albums ago, their title song, and it's the dark blue and browns fit, so I'm sticking them on there. And just making embellishments, layering little bits and pieces here. As I go,
After putting some ephemera in pockets like with maps and things and bits of scrap paper, I had been thinking about this for a while. I have too many pages in here and um, the specialty papers I can't write on so I'm gluing pages together to kind of make side pockets so I can stick something in between the pages. I just glue the top and bottom and leave the side open. I'm gonna add in that uh, printable set now. So I've been looking at the front and back cover in particular, wanting to add some of those pages there. I also wanted to put like a title page and whatnot. Yeah, I have the cover, but I have too many papers in here, so why not decorate a page just because? Alright, it's time for the button. First I tried to glue this on. FYI, I had been watching button videos <laughs> and other junk journal videos while making this on my computer. It's just out of uh, camera range there. And still I tried glue first, but eventually I just sewed it on. I used the same black thread that's pre-waxed. So, it's gonna stay. That's not coming off. So this is it. My Heart of Fairy Oracle Junk Journal as complete. 
let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Jenna, is a